Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Teman-teman sekalian saya berada di 212 Mart Gak usah mikir lagi ya fondasi. Gak usah mikir lagi Itulah fondasi kekuatan umat saat ini Gak usah anda berpikir ah, Yang punya produk siapa, dede juga Jangan dulu, minimal Kita sebagai salah satu jaringan Yang menjual produk-produk untuk kebutuhan umat 212 Mart My name is Krishot Mohan and I'm a science student and I'm here with the f uh, help of my Muslim friend and I'm an atheist. Uh, he used to tell me about religion but I had few questions and he could never answer them so I'm here to ask them to you. Uh, the existence of Quran is known after the birth of Christ. So what happens before the birth of Christ? Like, what happens and is Adam and Eve true the fact and what happens to the evolution then? Well, that's the question that the Quran was revealed after the birth of Christ. So what happens before the Quran was revealed? What happens? Many people have a misconception brother that Islam came into existence 1400 years back when the Quran was revealed and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is the founder of Islam. This is not true. Islam is there since time immemorial since man set foot on the earth and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is not the founder of the religion of Islam he is the last and final messenger and in Islam we have to believe in all the messengers our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said there were 124,000 messengers on the sent on the face of the earth by name 25 are mentioned in the Quran Adam Noah Abraham Isaac Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all. So before the Quran was revealed, you have to believe in the messenger of that time. That's the reason I said, no Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Leave us that before the Quran was revealed, even after the Quran was revealed, if someone says he does not believe in Jesus, peace be upon him, he's not a Muslim. Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. So before Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the messenger Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. So you have to believe in the messenger of your time. Before Jesus, peace be upon him, we had Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. So at the time of Moses, peace be upon him, he was the way, the truth, and the life. No man came unto Almighty God but through Moses. At the time of Jesus, peace be upon him, as is mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming unto Almighty God, but through Jesus, peace be upon him. But today is the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the way and the truth and the life. No man cometh unto Almighty God, but by the way shown by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So we have to believe in all the messengers. And all the messengers from Adam, Noah, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all, their basic message was the same. Believe in one God who doesn't have any images, doesn't have any idols, believe him alone, who's not begotten, he does not beget, and worship him alone. All the messengers taught that when we worship, we have to prostrate. The minute things, the periphery may change, but the basic message of Tawheed, believe in one God and worshiping him alone, is the same from the first man, from the first messenger till the last messenger. The little bit here and there, details may change. After the Quran was revealed, that's the reason Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now, for he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself, all that here shall he speak, he shall glorify me. So here Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is talking about the messenger to come, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said that I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. Now you may ask me the question, why didn't Prophet Muhammad come first? Why wasn't the Quran revealed first? Why 14 years back? Why not 10,000 centuries before? The reason is, like my son tells me, I want to become a doctor. Father, let me go to medical college directly. I'll tell him first go to nursery, then go to kindergarten, then go to first standard, then go to standard 10, then pass college, then go to medical college. So Almighty God is the creator. He knows how the human beings develop. He felt that if the Quran was revealed immediately, the first book, people, human beings won't understand. The right time, 
where human beings could understand the Quran was 14 years back. That's the reason Jesus Christ more than 2,000 years back said, I have many things to share unto you, but you cannot bear them now, for he when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. Talking on Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So Almighty God, the Creator, knows when to reveal what and what is the right time. And the Quran says in Surah Maida, chapter 5, verse number 3, that Almighty God says, I have revealed this Quran for you, and I have perfected religion for you, and I have chosen for you Islam. After this, nothing new can be added, nothing can be subtracted. So based on this, before Prophet Muhammad, you had to believe in the early prophets to come. Coming to your question on theory of evolution. Charles Darwin, correct? Darwin's theory. And you said you are an atheist. Sorry, you said something? Yeah, I'm an atheist. You are an atheist or were an atheist? I still am an atheist. Still an atheist. Yeah. In my talk, before I come to Charles Darwin, brother, yeah. in my talk when I said that who is the first person who can know a thing, an equipment, who no one has seen before, what will your reply be? Like As an atheist. The creator, like you said. Create, very good. When I gave you so many examples, about more than 50 to 100 scientific points which human beings did not know. Who could have mentioned in the Quran about Big Bang, the world is spherical, light of the moon is not its own light, borrowed light, that the sun is rotating, I did not know, you did not know, about the fourth state of matter, about the sky, the projected ceiling, about the water cycle, about geology. Who could have mentioned this, brother? Do you have any answer? I think it's God. <laughs> Mashallah. So finally you believe in God. Yes, I do. yes, what you used to reject first is the false God. Now today, a few moments earlier, you came to know the true God. So do you believe there's one God? Yes, I do. Mashallah, do you believe the Quran is the word of God? Yes. Yes, I do. Do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yeah. Do you believe? Mashallah. Now anyone... Anyone who believes that there is no God but one God, and anyone who believes that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God, in Arabic, we say he's a Muslim, he has submitted his will to God. That means, according to me, have you submitted your will to God? Yeah, have taken the consequences. So yes. would you like to say it in Arabic? See, when you say, I believe, no, I, I believe in one God, no God but one God, Allah, and I believe in Prophet Muhammad, we say the person has submitted will to God, he becomes a Muslim. So would you like to say in Arabic? Would you like yeah. to say in Arabic the same thing? Yeah, I would. The, right? Or I'll just repeat and you repeat in Arabic. Ashadu. <laughs> Ashadu. I shall do. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear witness. I bear witness. That there is no God. That there is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And Prophet Muhammad. And Prophet Muhammad. Is the messenger of Allah. Is the messenger of Allah. MashaAllah. You're a Muslim brother.